Welcome guys to Gothic 3 for Second God session number 10! Yeah, we got this far. To, 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 my, to my surprise, actually. And I screw up my pronunciation as soon as we start this video. Great! So with that, um, I looked up what we have to do. We have to go to Khan, we have to take care of Urbanus stuff, and I wanna find the armor piece of the mysterious wanderer that looks like a regular Hashishan fat guy. So, what we're gonna do first is going to Geldern and trying to find the cave. Because that is still more interesting <laughs> than talking to a bad MMORPG knockoff. Besides, let's get the annoying stuff out, out of the way first, and then let's head into all the good stuff that awaits us. I might uh, take a little dinner break in between. Uh, it was the other side. Yeah, it must have been... That was the Galdern Sildan issue. I hope he meant Galdern, not Sildan. Both can be true. Wait a second. I have an idea. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick a warrior. And... And with that... I have opened the door, I'm gonna gain some distance for them to return to their regular animation, like that. Quick save, sneak, open the door, and nobody notices. And this is why you need that spell. Alright, so far there's nothing great here, honestly. Just a few chests and... A heavy chest, yeah! Okay, what, do you, what we got? Rhino killer. Uh, too bad we don't use crossbows. Black quarrel. Um, yeah, it's all right, I guess. Wait, can I just mo walk normally here? They they are not even properly assigned to guard this place. This game is so full of shit. Oh, now this shit again. Um. Ah, uh, wait. Didn't we have like a quest with the sword, like a mighty sword there, of a powerful sword? It should be hidden between Montera and Trellis. Okay, we're gonna look for that too. Maybe it's uh, story important. I'm not sure, honestly. Maybe it's just a regular weapon, like every uh, like every other item in this game. But who can be sure about that, right? Uh, I want. Oh, sorry, guys. I wanted to get out the other entrance and. Is there a bed here? Yeah. I wanted to go out the other entrance and look for the armor piece. Because light orc mercenary uh, or light orc mercenary armor isn't that great to be honest. We have 93,000 gold? Guys, I promise you this will be the last detour before we go look for the armor piece. But let's just buy one of the strongest armors in the game and just be happy to be alive, I guess. Because, oh god, this is gonna break the game if this works. Why shouldn't it work, but still. Okay, this guy was the food guy. Then the armor guy was in here. Yes, I remember this guy, actually. And there we have the Praetor's armor. Woo! The commander of the King's Guard wears this armor. That doesn't sound bad, man. Mine? What kind of helmet do we have? Um, okay, I can't see it right now. Why do I have so many amulets? Oh, my. I think I could pay it with boring stuff alone. Dum 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 dum. No, I, don't, I didn't want to sell that. Wait, we're not even going to use shields, so screw that. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna need that. Do I have uh, protection against energy or something like that? Exclusively? No. So weapons, paladin sword. All a sword, uh, bastard sword. I'm gonna keep that with alongside the katana elder blade. I'm gonna keep that just for good measure. Ruby blade gone, broadsword gone, oxlayer, oxlayer, blah 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 blah. All gone. Hunting bow, bow, and um, fire arrows, explodes. Exploding arrows are actually quite useful. Rhino killer or crossbow. Get it all away from me, please. Halberd. We already have one equipped, so no. Ox spear. And we're gonna keep the pickaxe in order we need to mine something. Uh, in case we have to mine something, I'm sorry. Uh, some animals. We don't need that. Tame animals. We don't need that either because animals suck in this game. If you fight against them, they are a pain in the ass. If you are allies with them, yeah, you get the point. Some golem. I'm gonna keep that. Transfer disease. Yeah, already talked about that. Amnesia. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna keep one. Lightning bolt, one of the most. Y is it useless? Yeah, it is useless. In comparison to the fireball and the ice lens, it's totally useless. Cure poison, I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, that is useless. The fireball is actually useful. I would just need more ancient knowledge. Uh, banish evil. 
Hmm, I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm, I might try an experiment later on. Flame wave. No, I'm just gonna keep that for Group hypnosis. That's all good stuff. Transformation potions. We might transform later on in order to travel faster. So we're gonna keep that for now. Anything else we can sell here? Hmm, not much. Caskets. Got it. More caskets. Bison skin. Um, shovels. Could you even dig up anything in Rutana? I think that was only a mechanic in Verand. I'm just gonna keep it for good measure. We have 170 vials. Uh, yeah. Uh, raw steel. Okay, that's just everything. I don't care. I had a little bit of a brain back there again. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, that. I'm gonna keep one, just in case we need to do something like that. A pipe, gonna sell that. Torches, yeah, why not? But no weapons, sell all of them. They don't appear to have any use in this game, despite it being a war zone, so. How much gold do we have to give? 57k. Sure, why not? And now, let's look at the new armor. Ah! <laughs> what is that? No. I mean, it looks like, again, like some bad MMORPG armor design. It's just a retextured paladin's armor. What the fuck? But if protection is gonna save us, so let's run around like an idiot all day. No, not memory. Tower shield. What helmet do we have, by the way? Helmet. We have our full plate helmet. 20, 25, 25. Okay, 20, 25, 25. So, what we got here? 25. Hmm, nothing good. We need to keep our old helmet. Um, impact against blade, light energy, protection against eyes. Yeah. Pretty much everything's fine with that. With that, the Jarman comes through again! Ah, oh, just kidding. Maximum, mm, maximal, maximum life energy! Yeah. So, this is our new character now, basically. And we have blade protection of 160. And 50 learning points! We have 50 learning points! We could level strength up to 232. And as far as I... Who were you again? Okay, I don't remember everything, I'm afraid. Five arrows, I'm gonna sell a few of them. Hmm, yeah, just a few. Hmm, yeah, that'll be enough. Alright, so now we're gonna go back to Galdern. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anybody close to me who can teach me how to fight. Which is why we're gonna go to Galdon and get the armor piece first. Then, maybe we have another level up. We just need 10,000 more EP for that. EP are rather quickly gathered here. Especially if you find an armor piece or anything quest related for that matter. So. Let's hope for another level up and explore the caves or rather the mines around Galdon. I hope I can remember every one. It'll probably be kind of hard to find the gold mine again but I still know where the wolf mine is and where the uh, sulfur mine is and all that so we shouldn't need too long to find the uh, to find the right cave this time the black mage cave was just why would you block a black like seriously the NPC has to go through ten wolves like and they didn't even re bother to remove the sulfur that was in the exact same places as in Gothic 3. Even though you had to collect these exact same items in order to complete a quest. Isn't that great? So. Is there anything here? There are dead orcs. And a shadow beast. And now we're gonna lure the shadow beast away from this place. Just because of the meat bugs there. Or maybe I have an idea. The meat bugs have a huge issue. They're always around shadow beasts and they take away your focus from the enemy at all times and it's annoying as hell. So what we're gonna do is we cast a fire wave. There we go. And now we can properly spam everything. <sighs> Shit! I forgot about the missing knockback again. I just, I'm trying to rely on s mechanics that don't want to, that, that don't want to work properly. So... And this is the reason why Ice Wave and Flame Wave aren't really that viable. If there are... and Fire Rain and all the other AoE spells for that matter too. Here's the issue. When there are too many enemies that are, um, that are supposed to be hit by some spell, then the game can keep up with processing that anymore and just forgets to render that for a few enemies. Oh, two Shadow Beasts. This might be a little annoying. So I'm gonna drink uh, some water. I'm gonna eat a piece of meat. By the way, we can cook some meat again. I'm gonna jump to get out of the stun lock and 
I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, apparently... Is uh, the stun lock removal only there when they, uh, like, charge their attack? Because as long as they move, the hit stun still applies for the most part. The only exception to that we've seen were, like, wolves and blood flies. But I... But with those animals, it's kind of hard to see when they are charging up and when they are moving. Because both animations look kind of similar. Which isn't anything to... By the way, this isn't praise of the game. The combat system is shit. It, the, you can't say anything good about the, con about the combat system, seriously. Oh, I'm not gonna collect all the meat bugs. So let's see what is here. By the way, why isn't Geldern using the sulfur mine? I thought that was their personal in way of income. That was the only way that could keep the city afloat. Like, what the hell? Einok, Anok, what are you doing? Do you have any idea on how to properly do anything except for fucking bitches? And yes, that was quite literal. And perhaps they don't even know how to do that properly. Like, they stick their dick in the pussy and just immediately, immediately come and they're like, Oh, I'm done. Okay, I'm going into way, more, into way too much detail again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I kind of wanted to uh, let this stay as a... I'd rather have this as a video that everybody can enjoy no matter the age, but this game makes it kind of impossible to do that based on the material I'm given. Although I could... Certainly, I could just um, say different words. But then those that are older will... That will take away some of the hu humor for those that are older. And I'm not good enough when it comes to comedy to unite both in one. I'll have to keep working on that, but right now I can properly do that. It's just not that much of my style, to be honest. But I'm gonna change it. Probably. You, al you always need to evolve, you know? Well, evolve. You always need to push yourself further, so to speak. And constantly cursing is not a good impression Broken. on other people. So, uh, another flame wave, so... Yeah. The wolf mine Nothing should be, be somewhere around here. Or at least the former wolf mine. And there it is! Did they bother to, remo to remove the wolves? Yeah, they did. And it's abandoned too. Why? I don't know. How does Galden earn money? If not with artifacts and mining materials. Like iron, yeah, sulfur, damn. that fun stuff. Does... that... is this... did the developers even play Gothic 3? Oh, Ripper Beast. Hey, what the hell are these graphics? Why is there like a wide line out in the wall? Can't you stop breaking? Okay, they... Did he just go through the wall? If that is correct, and if it works like in Gothic 3, he should be right here. Yeah. He walked backwards through the wall and came out on top. That is classic Gothic 3 bullshit. So we're gonna drink an endurance potion, a uh, health potion, because we have 60 of those? Okay, we have 60. And... Yeah. Okay, apparently I can't break through if they charge their attack. Uh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Those are graphical errors I've never, ever seen in a game before. Like... What the hell? I mean, by the way, this dust wasn't in Gothic 3. I remember this cave quite clearly. Meaning they added in this effect fa and they didn't even bother to uh, even once stand inside of there and, fi and see if it works, if there's anything wrong with that. Nobody bothered to, ch to play test this game. Nobody. Okay, I'm sure some people did, but I feel so sorry for those people because I can imagine all those playtesters just writing pages and pages of things that need improving. And the developer and Joe Wood in that case is just like, oh, fuck it. 
The community is gonna fix it. Well, even though Jawad paid them, but you get my point. So there is a former slave and another former slave. Yeah, okay. This is the gold mine, by the way. Yeah, it doesn't look like much of a mine, but yeah, this is the gold mine. As shameful as that is. And yeah. None of the mines here have the armor piece. This is gonna be annoying. Because I don't really know where to look for clues now. We have we have a few mines on the other side of Garland that we haven't taken a look at yet. Maybe we should do that. Okay, but he clearly specified the armor piece was in a cave nearby of Geldern. Even though he said Sildan, but that's beside the point. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, go back to Geldern. After all, we checked out all the mines to the... What was it? To the east? To the east or north? I don't really know. Pro uh, now that I'm going to the south, it must have been the north. So, I checked out all the mines to the north. And now we're gonna check out the one mine in the south. The former artifact mine. I think the as the Hashishin. I keep wanna say. Uh, I wanna say assassin all the time, because in Gothic 3, the German edition, the Hashishin were called assassins, and I'm so used to that. It's it's the same as Cape Dunn. Uh, it's just a um, thing of being used to it. Okay, rain weed. There's a lot of weed in this world. Okay, so apparently if the developers didn't fuck up, somebody is here. I suppose it's not Mirzo anymore, Mirzo, who was digging for artifacts here, illegally that is. Oh, bandits. So I suppose the armor piece is here. That is good to know. So you come here, yeah. Calm down, dude. I need to heal my disease. You know how this works, right? Now we're gonna drink an endurance potion. Another piece of meat. We're gonna back off for a little. And then you know the drill. Halberd! But oh, he has the whirlwind attack. We take next to no damage. Look at this. This is the power of broken early game armor. It's just so ridiculous. I think I could just... Let's uh, let's see how far we can go with just pressing the left mouse button. I'm not even touching the keyboard anymore. I'm just touching the left mouse button. Okay, now I'm touching the keyboard, obviously. We're gonna drink one more endurance potion. One more chunk of meat. And then we're gonna see how far we can go with just pressing left click with this new armor. Because that's the reason I bought it. You see... This is endgame armor. Literal endgame armor. Alright? Meaning, if you have that early game alongside 500 health... Oh boy! Things are gonna be crazy. Alright, oh I wanted to do left click. Oh, um, sorry. I should focus on what I say. Not just saying something for the sake of commentary. So, in order to keep up my word... Now you're or gonna to keep up my word. In order to keep my word, I'm just gonna do what I promised to do. Left click button action! I hope you're looking forward to this. Because I am not. Quick save. And one and two. <laughs> Let's see how far we can go. So one is dead. We're gonna stop if we die or everybody else is dead. Just to see how OP this really is. Wait, I need to change directions otherwise we die too early. And we still need to turn. So, heavy bandits still do a little bit of damage. But this is the power of the helmet, basically. Okay. Okay, I don't think we can get that far with left click, unfortunately. I don't know why it feels so clunky. Oh, also I need to elaborate on something later. Please, um... I need to think about... I need to think about that later. I need to clarify something about alternative balancing and alternative AI. And I need to explain why both are to some degree activated here, but especially alternative uh, AI. Which I think was one of the worst additions that came with the community patch of Gothic 3. 
for reasons I'm gonna explain later. No, oh, so you guys are gonna do any anything anytime soon. I mean, I'm out of stamina. I barely have any health left, and um, all you do guys do is kind of walk around me, trying to kill me. Oh, this is so annoying. And this is alternative balancing at its finest, by the way. Yeah, I mean, alternative AI. It's so annoying. And you can't even turn it off here. Why? Why is it... Why is alternative AI and alternative balancing to some degree a main part of this game if they barely worked in Gothic 3 to begin with? I mean, alternative balancing did work in Gothic 3. Sort of. But alternative AI... Ho oh, ho no, my friend. That made the game just a whole lot worse. Why? Yes, the f there. the goal of um, alternative AI. Yes, I kind of went overboard earlier again with yes. Um, the thing I wanted to explain is just simply, yes, it makes the combat system more challenging. But in case of Gothic Three, that is not a good thing because the combat system never worked good to begin with. So attempting to fix a foundation, trying to fix. A combat system built on a broken foundation without fixing the broken foundation itself will just result in more chaos and disaster overall. That is what alternative AI is and it's always activated without any option to turn that off in Forsaken Gods and I don't know why the people of the community ta um, sorry, why the people of the community patch development team decided that was a good idea. Because it wasn't in the original Forsaken Gods. Oh, I talked quite a lot about there. Please give me a quick second to catch my breath. <laughs> but at least I explained it. I explained everything. So, um, did I miss anything or isn't there a single armor piece in this cave? I'm not aware of any other caves around Galdern. No, it, there really doesn't appear to be any armor piece. None of the NPCs had a special name or anything like that. I don't really know what... Was this... Was this just another cave of bandits? Nope, still no armor piece. By the way, what is that armor piece set anyway? I mean, is it like the ore armor from Gothic 1 or something like that? Because that would be pretty awesome. I would now, now the ore armor was destroyed when Xardas teleported the hero out of the rubble of the Temple of the Sleeper in, uh, at the start of Gothic 2. Well, at the start. I think it was like 13 days later. Like something really cliche. But Gothic 2, as a game itself, is not really that cliché, to be honest. Of course, it has a more traditional storyline, so to speak. But it's still very entertaining and offers a lot of new innovations. And what matters the most when it comes to the Gothic series is the gameplay. And with Gothic series, I mean Gothic 1 and 2. Not Gothic 3. For me, the gothic uh, for me the gothic series ended when the hero and his crew sailed to the mainland on the on the Esmeralda. That's uh, the ship at the beginning of Gothic Three, by the way, that they stole from the paladins in Corinnus. Now that I, now that I think about the uh, sorry, now that I think about it, story wise, not a lot has happened in Gothic Three, like at all. Mm, anyway. So, um, I'm afraid I have literally no clue where that armor piece is. I pretty much searched every cave around Geldern, every single mine, and every quest-related cave that was in Gothic 3. I am not aware of any other caves, at least I can't think of any right now. So, should we... Were there even caves around Silden? Like big ones? I mean, there were the goblin caves and all that. 
Was that what he meant? Oh man, okay, let's screw this, seriously. There's probably not even a main quest anyway. But I still need to do it at some point. Hmm. Okay, let's first talk to Canon Montero. We're gonna continue the storyline now. We're gonna continue the storyline now, no, yeah. And they're still fighting with the wolves! It's been like three days! Wait, ha has one of you died? Yes, one of them died, I think. Only Sylvester's alone. <laughs> Only Sylvester is still alone. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, uh, only Sylvester is alive. Or is he about to kill the alchemist? Nope. Vikram! Yeah, Sylvester, you got that. You got those two wolves. Man, you're such a good warrior. You're such a good guard. It's unbelievable. You got it, Sylvester! Fight on! You're gonna beat those two wolves despite your years of training! And yeah, it appears like... The more soldier training you have in the Gothic series... The more useless you are, at least starting from Gothic 3. To some degree. When it comes to the Guard and Vanguard, that... Those guys were pretty tough. I hope that fool had accepted our offer. Gabriel has respectfully turned down your offer of peace. What? That stupid human? Very well. He um. preferred death, and we shall give it to him. So what's it an ultimatum? Wants war. Then by Beliar he will get it. Go tell Soma we need armor. There no food? More things. What? He sends this gold as thanks for the prisoner you have returned. Does he think I need his gold? Take it away. I don't want it. I shall sprinkle the ground um, with his blood. What do you want? How many sets do you... Okay. Wait. Yeah, I get it. Orcs are like a warrior race and all that, but... You didn't mention anything about an ultimatum. Basically. He either had the choice of accepting the peace offer, or being attacked. Both of which would screw him, probably. Because he would have to work with you. So he did the right decision. Three. Okay, where can I find Soma? Find Soma? At Totsuki High School, in Japan! Oh, uh, Cape Don, fuck. Urbanus, Sorry. We need permission to go to the bandit camp. What did Beliard's name for? The artifact had been stolen by the bandit to live there? The artifact has been stolen. What artifact, by the way? Incompetence. Permission will only be granted if there is a replacement for Urbanus. So, Urbanus' post is more important than that artifact than, that everybody wants to have. Huh? Where can I find a replacement? Do I have to tell you everything? Right, Beliard, go to Arthur! Hero. Who's Arthur? And report to me as soon as you're done. Let's find Arthur! Is Arthur an orc or a human? I don't know with these names. In Gothic 3, Gothic 2 and Gothic 1, you can clearly identify what kind of race that person would be a part of based on his name alone. Here, you have orcs that are named Sylvester, Rudolph and Arthur, probably. Make yourself useful, Laura. Can't I just kill him and take everything here? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh. Well, dun, dun, dun. Did the sword just fly to the other end of the room? So, this warrior is dead. Loot. Doo -doo -doo. And you might call this as uh, abusing the game. But you've seen the bullshit we've already went through. And we are not even... I'm not sure we're even halfway through. I really... Uh, I'm not sure I've never finished this game before. Bundle weapons! Let's try to find Arthur! Whoever Arthur is! Or where- or wherever he is! I have no clue where to even begin to look for him! Quest design at its finest! Veteran! Warrior! 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 Veteran! Scout! Shaman! Warrior! Oh, shut up! And I can't even jump out! Because... Uh, I can jump out! Nice! So, is Arthur like one of the arena fighters? Gilbert! Yeah, you from Gothic 1! You left a letter in Gothic 2 that you wanted to make your way through the pass. But you probably didn't survive and now you returned as an orc, so... I don't know what happened. 
So I still cannot engage anything in the, in, um, inside the arena and I don't know where Arthur is. Is he in Monterra? Even? <sighs> Replay the whole arena. For I'll ask around in Montana and I'll... OMERT! I will start with OMERT! WHAT?! I'm gonna start with OMERT! We've been playing this game for what? 30 minutes now! And it... Just screws up another quest within 30 minutes of which like 25 or 20 we spend running around in an area. I'm, I'm legitimately angry. I thought... Fuck it! Greetings. Do you know where I can find Arthur? Arthur, you should be looking in the cave, Dunn! As far as I can recall, he lives there because I suck! Omer, you can't even speak! I mean, nothing against mute people, but for fuck's sake! This guy isn't mute! Leave me alone. See? He's just an asshole! Cape done! Luckily, we have a teleporter stone! What the hell went wrong with my legs? Uh, wait, did we even see Arthur here before? A warrior. Um. More as okay. Tolerate I thought. Tolerate the food. All right. I looted everything here and killed the le killed the warrior that was sitting there, right? Citizen! Alright. Arthur! Where are you? Soma! Never bought any armor for you. Dear me, no. God would kill me if that happened. Okay, have there been a lot of requests for armor? Have there been a lot of requests for armor? Oh, dear me. Too many! And he insists I cook them all with a magical dust that is made just in here? Why? I don't know and I do magical. have to ask. You don't even move your mouth. No, you don't no. even move your mouth. I come to you with orcs who watch me while I work. Okay, first, I'm kind of angry right now, and I'm pretty pissed, so my, mis my, mispronunci uh, my mispronunciations are gonna increase because of that. And yes, anger will make you think less carefully, but I can't help it. It's this game! Would you sell Gorn soldiers armor? Oh, dear, no. You just asked that! I, move. I wouldn't dare do such a thing. I come from Khan. He wants three more sets of weapons and armor. Oh, no. I have two sets, but I'm one out of magic order to complete the third. What do I do? What do I do? I'll chop off my fingers. I'll get it for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so another fetch quest. Woo! What do you need? About ten magic orb weapons. You will get them quickly, won't you? Oh, dear. Do I have them already? Yes, no, I don't. I have seven. Where? Very well, shall be off. So, we found Soma, now all we need to do is find Arthur. Who's Arthur? Why do we need to find Arthur? Oh, the, right, the replacement. Stupid me. Yeah, like I said, for people that just watch, this might not be that relatable, but commentating and playing a game at the same time is kind of difficult. You keep losing track of what you want to do, at least th that's the case for me, and I kind of need to work on that, to be honest. Gary, Tabor, Tabor, Gary, please, don't be such a dick, sir. Oh, you found this, what I said. oh the wolf skins, they, mm, they haven't bothered to remove any of that. Da -da -da. Arthur. Arthur? Arthur? Where are you? Arthur? Arthur? Were you at the camp? Arthur? Warrior! Who are you? Is one of you Arthur? Don't you have anything to do? Woo, wait! Ah! That face. Yeah. I kinda reacted a little late there, but I just noticed. This armor is um another retextured paladin armor, just like mine. Cool. I mean, there is at least new armor here. Doesn't make it any better, though. Scout, scout, scout. <sighs> Arthur, Cape Dunn. 
Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna waste your time, seriously. Entity not found illegal syntax. Go to Arthur. Okay. So... Uh. What in Belia's name? Four... Yeah, look at this. The dialogue never mentioned Omerd. How the hell are you supposed to know that if you don't read that summary? You should be looking in Cape Dunn, as far as I can recall. He lives there. Seriously. Because according to the game, the NPC Arthur, at least with A-R-T-H-U-R, doesn't exist. Wait, maybe it's go to our tour. No. Um, excuse me? Oh, that was due to the cheat. And I deactivated cheat mode again. So, yeah, no harm done. We didn't gain any advantage and I'm just using... I'm just trying to use that to get to places quicker. Leave and I'm usually not doing that except for the sake of keeping the flow of this stream alive. Even though that is kind of hard to do with this game. Well, stream, not stream this video. Streaming is something that is quite impossible for me to do due to my way too slow internet connection. Show oh, da, 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 Arthur. You'll have to move. Arthur, where are you? Um, I didn't. I couldn't hold the high notes up until the very end. It's kind of hard. It's a little. It's not uncomfortable for me to do the high notes, but it's much harder for me to keep those at a constant level. I mean, what you hear right now is my regular voice without anything, any special effects or stuff like that. Well, except for white noise removal. Does Arthur even exist? Where's Arthur? He wasn't up in the arena. He's not at the camps down there. He wasn't over there. Or maybe he's at the cam uh, at the camps down there. I need to check again. Also, we wanted to do the cave here. But we're not gonna do that because why would we? There's no reason to do that. So, I suppose none of you is... None of you guys is named Arthur. Besides, why why are there paladins chilling here with orcs is my question, to be honest. I'm legitimately interested in those guys' story, but I can't even talk to them! Go Can I? No, 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 and no. I can't talk to anyone in the entire group. That is so much fun! A pig, I can't talk to you. Are you quest-related or anything, or did the, devel uh, did the developers misplace you? Because you're kind of eating sand right now. Or at least you're trying to. You're pretending to eat sand. So, um... There's nothing on the beach, right? Like, not even an enemy? There's nothing on the whole beach, I think, except for a sand lurker and a fire lizard. More sand lurkers, more fire lizards. Uh, there's not even anything worthwhile to collect. <laughs> this game sucks. Sorry. I think it's kind of obvious that this game sucks. I just wanted to emphasize on it again. There's nothing good about the game. I mean, it looks nice, but it's just an illusion. Trust me, there's nothing worthwhile to find here. And that as soon as we're strong enough, we're gonna skip all the loot except for old and heavy chests. Because no, none of the loot actually matters. None of it. And here were bandits before. Uh, yeah. They forgot to put out the fire. Again. 
I kind of get the feeling that they never even pl uh, that the uh, that the new developers. I think their name was Trine. I think they kind of went bankrupt after for Second Gods, which which isn't surprising at all. By the way, was Arthur this guy? Why is there combat music? Oh, a lurker. But I don't want to fight him. Yeah, it's just another sand lurker. So, is one of you, Arthur? Olis. But I can learn some strength from you. Strong fighter with large weapons. Okay. And there are all the dead paladins are still here. Cool. Yeah, we still kind of need to find Arthur. Where's Arthur? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna interrupt the recording real quick. I'm gonna look up where Arthur is because even the Marvin mode, the basically the mode that allows you to do everything you want in this game, not everything, Gothic 1 and 2 were more flexible. But when even that mode can't find that NPC, then something is wrong because he either didn't even spawn in the world or his name is something different in the code of the game than what is actually shown in the game. So I'm gonna save and interrupt the recording real quick. And I'm gonna see you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, I am back. Here's the funny thing, apparently. Arthur does didn't spawn yet. And when it comes to that hidden armor plate, oh god, I have something to tell you about that. Let's get to Arthur first. Oh, this is so stupid. So, first the hidden armor plates. What they meant is a cave between Galden, uh, Galdern and Sildan. Not a cave around Galdern. When it comes to Arthur, you need to do another quest before that the game never tells you about. And guess where that NPC supposedly is? You can see it pra uh, practically. It's on the top of that tower. Pretty much the cheapest place to hide and a uh, main quest important NPC. Thank you for that. Whew. So, the Mystic Wanderer, that quest. A, at some occasions the item never spawns. B, sometimes the quest is absolutely unfinishable. And C, that armor is actually weak. The NPC was supposed to be here. <clears throat> okay. Maybe I overlooked something. Maybe he is here. Apparently not. So, um, like, is he up there? Like, somebody. I was supposed to bring somebody to Montero that was supposed to be here in Cape Dunn. And, uh, Yeah, I think that kind of went out the window. There is to Do I have to bring anybody of these guys? No! Where's that NPC? I don't really remember the name. Hmm. Wait, I think I remember what I was supposed to do when it comes to this quest. I am supposed to smog to, uh, to, to smog, to talk to the smith first. And then I can finally do it. I think. I'm not sure. This game is a piece of shit when it comes to quest design, so... I don't know. Dum -da -dum. Yo. Udolf. Greetings. Do you know where can I find Arthur? Do you know where I can find Arthur? You can't unless he chooses to be found. Thank you. And now we can apparently go to Cap Dunn. Now the NPC should have spawned. Uh. And after that we're gonna get the armor pieces. 
even though we have an armor that is stronger than whatever he, uh, uh, than whatever the, that armor is. So, here's Arthur now. After talking to the freaking smith that wasn't mentioned in a single word. It's finally here. And there's magic ore, so you know what I, you know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna steal it. Obviously. And then I can probably just go to the smith and be done with it. I think that's basically the shortcut to completing this quest. I collected enough now. And Arthur! Where's the stronger army? Gorn or Thoris? Why would you even you ask have, that? Right now, they are both evenly matched. Thank you. I'll take on la, la, la. This will depend on the decisions wait, taken by Gorn. And Gorn has to know when he can withdraw his spies. And prepare. Thoris has to decide how long, how long he can, can wait to complete and reveal his Okay, I need, need your help. help. Everyone does. Khan needs a replacement for Urbanus. How did yeah. you know? Shh. Trade secret, my lover. Oh. What do you okay. suggest? Well, there's this orc named Morg, who might just be the man, yet orc, to replace Urbanus. And he's at the top of the tower in Cape Dawn, right? He knows how to disavow anything that moves. By the way, who is this Arthur guy? Is he just... Doesn't Khan... Doesn't Khan have anyone who, like... Like a general who knows his soldiers or anything Where like that? In Cape Dunn. Now go away, quick! No one should see us together! Who are you even? Very well, I shall be off. And remember, this conversation- This conversation never happened. Cool, but who are you? Are you working for Can? Why are you so important? Why do you- Why do I have to go to you in order to recruit an orc soldier to fucking do his job? And now, as far as I know, he's up here. Or not. He's not up here anymore. Okay, maybe he never was. So, that guy is in Cape Town. He must have spawned now, so we need to look through the entire place again. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain about the quest design. I'll do that in the review with a single sentence. Screw all the quests and fuck this game. No, I'm not gonna do it like this. No, I was just about to say. A steel crown. A modest crown for a war -torn, for a war torn king. You only, can, you only hope you live long enough to enjoy it. Sorry. I didn't really pay attention to what was standing there to be honest. Mort! I need you to replace Urbanus. Okay. Um. Very well, but keep your distance. Very well. Follow have you waited long time to come to service of Khan? Okay, well, you fight Khan or Thoris? Or for Thoris? I will fight for whoever Khan asks. Do you think Khan was the man? I have been to Khan. The farmers, uh huh. Interesting. The farmers I met, the renegades, had quite a lot of strength. So, yeah. Not too sure about that. By the way, oh, I have ten learning, po <laughs> 10 learning points already again. So, now we have to walk. To uh, Montero, I but first, you, you don't know uh, it's magic or separate. Rare metal for the Mystic Wanderer. Together with two further metal pieces, you can make a powerful armor. So I found one. Where? Recommendation letter, yeah. Magic ore and ma magic ore for Soma and magic ore. Both are different. Way. <laughs> And now we're gonna fight. Uh, so who got right there, his eyes on me? This guy. Alright. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a little bit of fun with him. So, you... I'll take you away. And now we're gonna go here. Come. Ah, uh, he lost interest. Uh, then we're gonna deal with him the next time we come here. I was wondering the last time about a standing position, but I don't think you, you're cooking right. Make yourself useful, Mora. Well, you're not very useful at Eat. the moment. No. Moras can't tolerate our food. Well, if you would make food. I mean, right now you're just kind of clipping through the pot. You'll so. have to move along. Yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, now it's just a painfully slow walk to Monterra. And I'm gonna do a little experimentation with this right now. Because, undoubtedly, I'm gonna speed up the section. It's just way too stretched out in order not to be sped up. And I'm kinda curious, would it sound normal if I would talk a little slower? I am looking forward to the results, to be honest. 
So yeah, right now I'm trying to speak a little slower. Maybe I'll have a use in the fast forwarding of the video so that people can properly listen to me. Though that's not gonna work every time, for obvious reasons, because I cannot foresee the sections I'm going to speed up and which I'm not going to touch. Yeah, that is not. So there's Theo. Theo? Hmm, okay. What have you got? Greetings. Greetings. Oh dear, sword. Don't take it out. What seems um, to be the problem? Why is acting? deadly afraid of anything sharp. I don't like the way that sword is swinging. Okay, what, what are you doing here? I'm trying to run away. I gave up being a soldier because of my fear. But now that war has begun, the orc leaders have been looking for me to resume my duties. <laughs> Stop shaking so much! Where will you run up to? Mm. I'm planning to go to the swamp weed hut on the coast of Cape Dun. <laughs> <laughs> it's the swamp weed hut? There was no swamp weed there. I have no need for them and don't want them. Okay, very well then. F follow me. See you need help. Okay. What we're going to do now, you wait, wait here. Sure. Now when we go back, we can at least sprint. Theo, yeah. We're gonna bring you to the swamp weed hut. The swamp weed hut. Who had the awesome idea of naming that hut with no drugs whatsoever, as far as I could see. The swamp weed hut. I mean, yes, swamp weed can grow on sand, but it needs higher temperatures as far as I am aware. Like in Varant or in an actual swamp. I'm just saying, it doesn't really make a lot of sense that there's swamp weed growing here. Like at all. I'm reading too much into this again. Ugh, oh, this is Forsaken Gods, and the developers obviously didn't care about ANYTHING! Okay, calm. I mean, at least, uh, Theo was better placed than... What was this guy's, um, name again? Hamod, Herod, Herod... Um, that was a slave around Cape Dunn that you had to collect, uh, you had to bring him back to the Hashishin who wanted to sell him as a slave, basically. You obviously had the choice of not doing it and doing it. But Theo was at least better placed than You can rest him. now. Here's the key. You will find the chest in the tower of- WHICH Canada. TOWER?! Why? <sighs> Forget it. Teleport back. Go back to Morg. That was his name. Go back to Morg. Bring him to Montera and just. I want to kill and the entirety of Cape Dunn. To be honest, I just. Oh God, no! Please no. I just realized something. If they are expecting us to go through the entire revolution thing with all the cities again, then... <sighs> no. They can't. They can't. It's... No. Not possible. They can't. That would uh, basically predetermine that there isn't an actual final boss in the game. Or at... No, that doesn't even make any sense. It wouldn't even rule out that possibility. There can't still be a final boss. I know there's a final boss. But I don't know anything about the way until then. So, I think that over there was the back entrance to Red Oak. Let's see what we have instead there, shall we? I'm curious. Like I said, I want to look at that. And like I said... The only reason I can imagine for the developers to block Red Oak off is... Due to a quest-related boss fight or anything like that. Because there's no reason why they would block it off. Okay. Uh, Bloodfly. And another one. Good. And this is why you use the Hellbird. The range is good. No, I don't care about all of... Oh, uh, casket. And what is that? A metal chest. Anything good? Yeah. It actually, yeah. I'm surprised. This is definitely the back entrance. Oh shit! Oh shit! Undead high priest! Undead high priest! What the fuck?! It's 
An undead high priest! In Redock! What the hell? Okay, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna do this exact same thing I already did in Gothic 3 when it comes to these guys, because I'm not sure how much resistance we have. I'm gonna test it out real quick. In Gothic 3, they were able to kill me in two hits when I was a mage. Um. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Two. Three. So, I die after one charge and one weak spell. Despite having a strong armor. This is why I already hated the Undead High Priest in Gothic 3. Especially! Especially! Al Shadim at Morasul. Okay. Just unlock him! Ugh. Okay, he. Is oh, it's so good that this is Forsaken Gods where the mages change into melee combat. But holy shit, he deals so much damage! He's using his fists and he's doing so much damage! Keep in mind, I have an end game armor! And now a snake is taking away my focus from the undead high priest! Oh shit! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no, no, you are not healing yourself, motherfucker. The beast just don't learn. <sighs> and of course, they still don't carry any loot. And just like the shithead you are, you are wearing the robe of a water mage. And yes, the water mages are just the worst. The fucking worst. The water mages. Ah, oh, Sadares is so. Every single one of them is a piece of shit. It started in Gothic One, and it kept it, it. That theme never changed throughout the entire Gothic series. Oh, water mages are assholes. Or rather, they are so arrogant. A master sword. There's a master sword in a in a heavy chest. That's the strongest weapon in the game. I just found the strongest weapon in the game in a heavy chest. Cool. Let's take it. I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> I just got the strongest one-handed sword in the entire game. Arguably stronger than the Halberd. Oh god! <laughs> so yes, the undead are still here in this game. And I'm convinced more than ever before that Redock is gonna be the place for the final boss. Because otherwise there wouldn't be so many undead here. Gothic 3 did the very same shit. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Was that a dragon? What the fuck is wrong with Redock? It's been two years. What the fuck have you guys been doing in two years? <laughs> Fick. Besides, what the hell does Thoris want to do with the claw of the undead dragon anyway? Is that the artifact? Ah, oh, shit. Skeleton's always a little annoying. Oh, just a little go. And he's dead, alright. It's alright if you have an ally with you, but... Skeletons are just annoying. Although they were always gave some good arrow loot in Gothic 3. Okay, good. I don't know what exactly happened. Probably a light swing from the orc, but... Well, what do you know? Good thing I brought him with me. So, there's a dragon! Yeah, a literal dragon is here. So what we're gonna do now, because the music that it's gonna play is so awesome. It only played twice in one playthrough of Gothic 3. The showdown battle music. I'm not gonna talk in order for you to enjoy it, or at least I'm... No, I'm, I'm still gonna talk. DRAGON! Where's the showdown music? There it is! I just wanted to sing along. I wanted to sing along. He killed me in two hits. Ha ha! 
All right. Ice uh, freezing doesn't work against dragons. So what we're going to do is we're going to trigger our orc into attacking him. Um, excuse me, hitbox, hurtbox. Oh, there it is. <sighs> okay, wait. We're gonna do something else. We're gonna put on full protection against fire. Although we don't have that, and I doubt it'll help. And yeah, I seriously doubt it'll help. I would need hunting skill for that. Twenty ten. Uh, but I, but it would be so worth it. It's the strongest weapon in the game. Oh, it's a dragon. How about you attack him? Can I just use him as a shield? Yeah, I can use my ally as a shield. Ah, uh, but that's gonna be a little annoying. <laughs> Shit! No, don't get away from me, shield! You're my shield! You're my Captain Amer You're my Captain America! You can't just- Oh shit, he's gonna kill him, he's gonna kill him, he's doing too much damage. No! Okay, whirlwind, 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 more whirlwind! Okay, normal hit, normal attack. D d inventory! Inventory! I have zero health, I just survived due to a glitch. Holy shit! A glitch saved? my life and apparently there are still dragons in this game and they are more powerful than ever before that's a whole lot of fun uh, skeletons come on attack I I really don't like to fight with alternative AI <laughs> sorry I, I also wanted to elaborate on that didn't I all right the beast just don't learn uh, you don't learn, mother... You barely took any damage from the dragon, are you kidding me? I could, like, Broken. beat you. With ease. Ah, uh, he doesn't really have a strong weapon with him, unfortunately. Otherwise, we could use a funny glitch that, al uh, that already worked in Gothic 3. That way you can basically farm infinite gold. As long as the merchants... Uh, as long as the merchants have gold, that is. So, uh, I suppose the final boss is going to be behind there. The other way around, I mean. Now, um, we kind of went deep into the cave, but we cleared it out. We killed a dragon, and we found the strongest weapon in the entire game, so... I would consider this a success in my book. So, let's get to Monterra. I see how much time we have left. Yeah, easily. We have easily 30 minutes left. I just hope my uh, external hard drive doesn't fill out before then. I still have all the rendered footage of Gothic 3 on there. And yeah, render rendered footage. I'm recording with fraps as of right now because OBS sometimes has a, li uh, has a few issues when it comes to Gothic 3, at least it had for me. Actually, OBS seemed to have trouble with all the Gothic games. Fraps was the only reliable method uh, of recording I had at my disposal without paying additional money. And yeah, it works. I mean, you're looking at the footage right now. It's clean. Perhaps it's still working. It's just a little annoying with rendering the footage. But it's nothing to break your leg over. Silver Goblet. So let's go to Matera again. Still, I guess. I'm gonna quick save again. Uh, there's a scavenger, more scavengers, so let's kill a few. Do I even need to kill them? Yeah, some AP. Da -da -da. One. Or not. Uh, excuse me, I didn't even push into that direction? I didn't even push into that direction. I, I hold W and it... He dodged despite me just holding W. And dumb, dumb, good. Now oh, we need to still get to Monterra. Is there still the farm on the way? Now that I think about it, we avoided that way the last time. Is the mercenary Dominic still there? He gave you a quest for Monterra, basically an introduction, uh, an introductionary quest. 
for you to get settled in Monterra, and which leads to more quests from Merrick, the leader of the Orc mercenaries, and that leads to a quest of the rebels. And eventually you'll get to my... Basically, Gothic 3 is an endless string of fetch quests that lead to, to that, that lead to more fetch quests. That is basically how Gothic 3 was designed in its system. Okay, so Gothic 3, I don't know if those were placed for the, just this quest here again. It wouldn't be the first time for second God has done shit like that. So yeah, I just assume those are my halftime entertainment again. They don't even... <laughs> I'm just pressing left mouse button again. I kind of lost all hope. I want to I wanna have the Master Sword. Well done. There uh, is thank no you. Honor in this carnage. If you say so. Oh, blood flies. And I haven't found anybody who could teach me poison resistance. So the blood flies are the only enemies that deal... Okay, there are still the Heshishin with us uh, with the poison swords, but... By the way, let's check out the cave. Oh my god, no! <sighs> For second gods, you understand time and time again... ...on how to... ...just... Ruin my excitement. Martel Hunter Hunter Hunter, who are you? Greetings. Greetings. Are you a warrior? No, yes, I'm your mother. I serve. Oh, thank Enos. We need your help. We are wolf hunters. We serve the human armies with wolf skins for their coats. Okay. What seems to be the problem? Whenever we hunt, a pack of orcs descends upon us. They not only stop the hunt, but they also take away all that we have caught. Will you defend us on our hunt now? We just have to make a delivery to the army, or the soldiers will suffer from the cold. We have a special hunter's bow that we can give you in exchange for this. A favor. special hunter's bow? A special hunter's bow. I'm just gonna take the quest and done. see what happens. I'll show you. And yeah, it's another one of those quests. Stop. So. No one gets in my way. Uh, one, two. One, uh, come on. One, two. So. Is there even a quest balance in this game? I mean, we keep getting end game quests and we keep getting early game quests without rhyme or reason. Like, it's the same as in Gothic 3. Did you didn't even bother to improve upon that. Many thanks, warrior. Because of you, our soldiers will eat well. Okay. Hunting bow, and it isn't a special one! I think people didn't really think I would scream that much when playing this game. But people, you underestimated the levels of bullshit this game has to offer to you. You have to keep that in mind. Bullshit in this game is a serious problem. Shield, uh, light orc armor, ice amulet. Yeah, three rings of endurance, even though I can only carry two. Great. Uh, random loot is also awesome. I'm gonna explain that in a bit. When the section isn't sped up. Uh, another one of weapons, do, 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 balance, a thousand, easy. So, um, hunters and there are still scavengers. I'm not, I'm not gonna say you're not doing your job right, but I'm just no kind of saying you're doing running. a bad job as hunters. I mean, there were just literally a few scavengers, like here. I'm gonna take the meat for healing purposes. Maybe we can make something out of that later. Okay. I need something to drink soon. Holy! There's a wild boar. And wolves are attacking the wild boar. So was it running away and then focused on us due to its naturally aggressive behavior? And why can I attack that wolf? Why was it an invincibility? What is the explanation for that? Why was it invincible? I hate this game. I think I hate this game. Like, I think I hate this game with the deepest core of my soul. And dum da dum. Dum 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 dum! <laughs> invincibility! Again! Wolves have invincibility now! The beasts just don't learn. 
Why? I don't know. It didn't happen before. Maybe after they kill another random mob, they have invincibility until they attack again. I don't know. I doubt the, exp the game would have ever explained that to us to begin with. Uh, more scavengers, because... Somebody had the genius idea of just plastering the way full of scavengers. The beast just don't yeah, man, those are so hard. We had there. Like, they're totally not wasted space at all. Ah, uh, dear, dear, why is there fire? A cave and fire. Oh, another shadow beast. That was the Shadow Beast Cave, if I'm not mistaken. Are there like two or three in here? Um, not much of an issue, honestly. Yeah, meat box. And welcome to Gothic 3's dynamic lightning system. And yes, you're not seeing it wrong. I can't see shit either. Um, so am I killing them? I suppose so. Whoa, da 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 da. Healing potion, please. Oh, and, and my AI companion just destroys the meat bugs. He kills all the meat bugs! Dude, focus on the shadow beasts! Okay, he focused in the end on one. Good, well, good job, no man. In this uh, so many meat bugs. And let me guess, once I light the torch, first thing that's gonna happen is a huge lag. And here we go. So, um, is there anything of interest to me here? Or is it the same fucking loot as in Gothic 3? It seems to be the same random non... A heavy chest! Awesome! A Deathbringer! That's a reward I'm talking about! So, chest, good. And we can finally get out of the ca uh, we can finally get out of the cave and see anything again. And they still haven't fixed that stupid cave. By the way, all the shadow beast cave all the shadow beast caves are like that. You won't see shit. And it doesn't even make sense because in some of these caves there's a campfire, a litten, like literally a burning campfire, and you still can't see anything. It's hard to imagine, but play it yourself and you understand what I mean. You can easily see that in Gothic 3, after you leave Cap, uh, Cape Dunn, once you go up to the bandits, uh, the left path, if I'm not mistaken, the shorter path to Monterra, uh, if you do that, there's a cave to the left, uh, Shadow Beast Cave. And it's very similar to that one, only that a campfire is burning inside. Or maybe that was another one, but I think it was that one. Yeah, so, um... The house is still standing. The house. Somebody touching my spaghetti! Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to say some random shit. Mork? There you are. Are you coming? I'm doing this entire shit only for you. Okay. Wild boars! And dum dum and dum dum and shit 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 shit. Got that. Got that. Who's living here now? Is there anybody even living here? Meat bugs. A campfire and only meat bugs living here. That makes so much sense. Oops. So this is what I meant. Uh you have the you have basically two paths to take here. The longer route, which is to the left. And the shorter route, which is to the right. 
What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the shorter route in order to get rid of that stupid AI companion. Every minute spent with this guy is another minute spent in agony. <laughs> okay, well at least I'm not taking at least I'm not taking any, a lot of damage anymore. And the frame rate is also alright. So yeah, that is something. Did they e did did they, uh, did they at least bother to remove the bandits along the way? If not, then that's the definite number one proof that they were just too lazy to give a shit. Oh, they just replaced them with regular renegades. Did you just walk back? Okay, renegade, 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 renegade. Um, I'm not gonna steal the chest because there's just more useless random loot in there. And this is just as good as a, of a time to explain this system as any other. The looting system in Gothic, in Gothic 3 is, is, is significantly different than Gothic 1 and 2. In Gothic 1 and 2, each chest had a set, had basically set items attached to that chest, so... There was no random loot whatsoever in Gothic. Except for the citizens, if I'm not mistaken. Basically the NPCs, like, if they have some vials or something like that. Excuse me? Uh, why are there two shadow be- this is the Shadow Beast cave uh, I was talking about, by the way, but there's no reason for them to be here, really. I mean, there's fire everywhere. Who lo who there put the no who put this place on? Who lightened these? Uh, metal chest. Let me guess. More random loot that I have no use for. Telekinesis. Yep, <sighs> pretty much what I was saying. It's about time we stop looting. We can't use any of that loot anymore. Sorry. Which means, for uh, for now, as this works the same way as in Gothic 3, we are only going to go for old and heavy chests from now on. And maybe the quest stuff that is given to us. I'm not sure about that yet, though. Uh, like, why are there lizards here? This, it seems like this place w isn't well, abandoned, really, so but why bad. is it, though? Like, this place looks the exact contrary to being abandoned. Yet, nobody is here. Maybe somebody is spawning here later. Anyway, let's get the large chest open, because I'm pretty sure we can pick them, right? Yeah. And it's no use trying to learn Im uh, picking impossible locks because there are just so few chests that actually require that. Uh, yeah. Wait, wh were those just 10 healing potions or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly go to sleep. Quickly checking the time. Yeah, 20 minutes. Easy. I hope I pressed recording on Audacity. When I th just think about that. You know that feeling if you uh, like lock your car, go like five feet away, and then you're turning back to check if the car is closed despite you having done so? But because it's like you're doing it so often, you're not sure anymore when you did it and when you didn't. That's basically what I feel like right now. So, campfire. Let's go to Comantera. We're gonna finish this quest and probably quit the session right uh, then and there. We didn't do a whole lot, unfortunately. But we encountered quite a lot of bullshit again and we know what we have to do. So with each, uh, wi with each session we're gonna continue a little bit further. And yeah, all we're gonna get are probably fetch quests anyway. So, what about that cave over there? After we've explored all of this, there isn't really a point for us to do any of this anymore. Okay, depending on the first enemy I see, I might explore this cave or not. Depending if I want to deal with it or not. Um, no enemy so far. Oh, that was like the Goblin Shaman! Alright! Oh, yeah, you can my answer is still the same. I'm not gonna deal with that. You've seen how broken the mages in this game are. Including dragons. 
Goblin shamans are much far away from that. What? That music transition each time. Da 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 da. Oh, this music, seriously. Oh, I'm st I still have a disease. Uh. Good. Thing is, since we're not gonna sprint anyway, we we don't really need to put in to drink that potion. Basically, cure disease. We don't have to use any potion for that yet. Because A, we can sprint anyway due to the AI companion. And B, okay, there's no enemy with uh, disease, but you get my point. There was still a chance. A very, sm uh, the, a very minor one, but this is for second guards we're talking about. For second guards never pulls back on the bullshit. And it's not an enjoyable time. Mork! Thank you. Oh, this is probably the first session where I screamed this much at a game. Well, o officially that is. Because I've had quite a number of games where I would just... Uh, where I just went nuts, partially. I think some of these games include Final Fantasy XIII, Sonic Riders and more fun games like that. Ah, uh, so... Can I get five strength from this now? Maybe? With luck? Yeah! Easy money! Uh, I couldn't keep the t same tone of my voice. Easy money! Yeah. I have a replacement have for a banners. Well then, don't just stand there. Go and replace him! I can concentrate with well, honestly, um... It would have been fun if I wouldn't have had to talk to Ken first, but unfortunately, I think I have to talk to Ken first in order to unlock the dialogue option with Urbanus. Uh, speaking of which, where is he? <laughs> More could I go. Urbanus. Urbanus was outside. Right, he was outside the castle, if I'm not mistaken. Like, wasn't he one of there? One of there? Urbanus. Urbanus. So yeah, this is a game from 2008, and it still didn't manage to put quest markers for only quest givers in the game. <sighs> Something that not that even the Risen games, well, even the Risen games, they're not that innovative title, titles, or that great of titles to begin with. <sighs> but so uh, why, just why in Gothic 2 it was rather easy to find the quest givers again, because they were always in distinct places. But here, look at this. You'll have to move along. I have no clue where to go. And neither does my AI, comp AI companion. What do you want more? Ah, Urbanus. <laughs> oh. So what we're gonna do is wait so here. Yeah, you 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 know the you know the drill by now. Yeah. I thought uh, he glitched out again. Morg. We need to find Urbanus. So he's all the way out here. I see. Go to Mork. Marvin. And I'll take you away. I just wanted to see where he was. And he was all the way over there. And this is why you usually don't assign rotating guards any quest. Because it's just a stupid thing to do. You'll have to move along. <laughs> You'll have to move along. Yeah, I didn't even try to replicate that. Da 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 da, da Urbanus. Da da, da 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 You were over there, I think. Right? Urbanus. Ken has granted you permission to come with me. Oh, it. Me stay along. here and um, place wait, what? Till we come back. There was no dialogue again. I shall set out for the camp immediately. I? I shall set out for the camp immediately. So you mean we set out for the camp immediately. And Urbanus didn't even say anything to that. The nameless hero was just like, I'm gonna set out for the camp right now. And Urbanus is like, oh, fuck it. He didn't even say anything. They didn't even bother to write, to write 
one single line of dialogue. <sighs> I'm expecting too much out of this game. This game is just a piece of shit. It's one of the worst games in existence. If the quests weren't en weren't a sign already, then oh boy, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with what's coming up. Because you can always be assured, Forsaken Gods never stops with the bullshit. It always keeps going, no matter if you wanted it to or not. So, the Renegades are the bandits? Do I get that right? In that case, I'm gonna drink a potion against disease. In that case, it would be against my disease or against diseases, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you know what I mean, everything's fine. Oh, blood fly. Um, excuse me? Okay. It's just so... Ironic, you know. This is based upon Gothic 3, a game that was... that basically destroyed the entire Gothic franchise. Yeah, and the Renegades are the bandits. Alright, I gotcha. What other point would... Be there? And he's dead. Hmm, I can block too, apparently. Uh, that's good to know. So yeah, are you gonna... Hello? Yeah? Can you help me, please? Uh, I hate this quest design! Yeah, die, good. Wait, what? Okay, now he's helping me, I think? Okay, he's literally helping me, good. Good. WHY ARE YOU ATTACKING ME?! Okay, um... He's sometimes attacking me and sometimes he's attacking the enemies? Just make up your fucking mind, Urbanus! Do I have to re... Do I have to do everything again? Okay, I'm just gonna knock Urbanus out. Good. The rest died. <sighs> Urbanus. And this is exactly why the AI of Forsaken Gods is another case of being a piece of shit. And it also happened in Gothic 3. I've shown you I showed that in the review I wasn't kidding when the paladin uh, suddenly to decided to kill me with his fireballs after I gave him his magic back. And yes, that was no fake scene. I didn't do anything to provoke him. He just decided to kill me. Don't get your not not. We'll talk later, Mora. Yeah? Can we just deal with it? Wait, so the renegades were not the bandits? Where do you plan on going? Oh, they still didn't bother to remove this chest too. And it has the same shitty random loot. Alright. I got gotcha, you, Forsaken Gods. You don't want me to loot anymore. Gotcha. Hmm. So where are those bandits? Did I kill them already? Like, the ones that were in that cave? Okay, we got 10 minutes left. Let's just hope Urbanus gets a move on. Because in 10 minutes I have to leave. There are the bandits! Okay, let me just quickly eat some meat. Nomads? Why are there nomads in Mirtana when Varant is blocked off? And this is why whirlwind attacks are awesome. One, two, one, two. Oh, fuck. The thing is, um, if you don't time the next whirlwind attack right, you can trigger the next whirlwind attack any time during the current whirlwind attack. Thus you can skip animation and lose tons of stamina if you just... What? What? He's red? What? Why? Why do you want to kill me now? What have I done to you? Why do you want to kill me? I'm just gonna do strong attacks. Ah, that missed. And the cooldown of this animation is so freaking long. Ah, oh, frick. And... Come on! So... Urbanus is dead! I didn't have a choice! I had to kill him! Uh, let's just hope it didn't break anything. Oh, it's amulet. Great. But I still don't know why 
he attacked me and he wanted to kill me. His name was Red. He wanted to kill me. Oh yeah, by the way, white basically neutral. Yellow is basically uh, means that he has something against you, no matter what that is. Oh, there's a dead orc lying here. I see. Um, excuse me. Thank you. And this isn't a quest, apparently. Even though I would have made for one awesome quest. But the developers were... Either ki time constraints or other reasons. Hmm. So we're gonna finish the quest. Yeah. We had to kill the one we had to provide the replacement for. So that's a minus. And let's just see what will alone. happen right now. I have no idea. Let's just go to... Wait... Omid, 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 Omid... Omid and Urhang. Right! Omid and Urhang. Meaning they should be next to Khan. Right? Omid, Urhang. There's Elite Warrior. Elite Warrior. Where are o Omid and Urhang? Um, Omerd. He's not Omid, but Omerd. Uh, okay, guys, you know the drill. As I said, we only have a limited amount of time right now. Uh, Omid. Oh, right. Omid. What was this guy's name again? Ogit. Gotcha. Go to Ogit. And he's down there. Gotcha. And yes, you could you could blame I'm cheating, but seriously, you are seeing the footage, and I'm not willing it is done. I to have the deal with all this bullshit. What? What did you just say? I want to hear this. Um, that wasn't even the right line. Excuse me. Teach me something about. This ability is so broken. Once you have that as a mage, you've won the game. Nothing can touch you anymore. Nothing! Except for the fucking stealth skeleton. Uh, the stealth skeleton is a joke I scrapped in the Gothic 3 review. Actually, I think I scrapped all the scripted jokes in Gothic 3. Except for like two or three. And replaced them with uh, more spontaneous jokes. Oh, get sent me to deliver to, de to deliver this artifact for you uh, to you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Was that it? Um, reunite with Tana. Soma needs uh, Khan needs equipment and Ka Soma needs a magic ore. So, how much time do we have left? Five minutes. We're gonna use every freaking minute we have. Not waste a single minute. Well, you should waste a few minutes in life, otherwise you waste your life. It's a paradox. Basically, it's... If you keep... Did you just... Were you just in your idle animation? It is done. My fingers! I mean, my war! Here it is! Thank you! What? Sorry! <laughs> oh, let me make a joke! Thank you, warrior! You saved my life! Okay. So, we're gonna go back to Monterra. Again. And... Dum, 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 dum. Then we're gonna finish the quest for Khan. And uh, then I guess we're gonna go back. I think. I can't imagine the Gorn storyline being the exact same as this one, honestly. Mm, that means I have to I have even more to play. Maybe I'm maybe I'll still include it in the sessions. Who knows? I have them. Thank you! That's completely out of character, by the way. Would you teach me how to fight? Of course you can. Wait, what? Thoris. All right. Oh, and tell him what that son of a bison Gabriel said. Let him know of his intention. Um, of Very refusing well. your ultimatum peace offering. And considering that... Yeah, um... 
I mean, it's kind of obvious that you want to backstab them, so why would you wonder about them? Or maybe that was your point. Maybe you were just looking for an excuse to get the war started. I mean, it has happened in history many times before. I'm just saying. Rio Nat Matano, Charles Bleakfield, Bally Sword. Equipment and a message for Thoris. So, what are we gonna do now? The last thing we're gonna do today. We're gonna go to Trellis and we're gonna place ourselves right in front of Thoris's house. Once that is done, we're gonna save and we're gonna call this a day. There's so Thoris's house. Now we're gonna save. And with that, I wish all of you a wonderful day. Take care.